and welcome to Canada's National Ballet School and our 2021 Sharing Dance Choreography. Sharice and I are really excited to be dancing with you today. And to begin, I'm going to ask you just to check the space around you to make sure you have lots of room to move as we dance together. And as we're learning, I want you to know that we can create our own movements within, within this choreography. So there may be moments where the arms go up really nice and high, where you choose that your movement is going to be more in the mid space. There might be movements where we do a big twist, where you decide your volume of twist will be a little more gentle. Absolutely do the movements the way they feel best for you in your body today. And as you're dancing with us in these videos, feel free at any time to stop, to take a break, or to rewind to try something again. All right, I think with that, we can get started with the movement. So the first movement we're going to do is a gentle pulling of the arms in towards the middle of the body. So in ballet, we have the, a first position, and this is almost like we're compressing that first position towards us. Beautiful. So we're going to compress, and while I'm doing that, I'm looking slightly to my right. Now that I'm going to do that again on the other side and just compress slightly and twist to the left. So practice that with me a few times. To the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, and to the right, and to the left. Yeah, so there's a really nice movement of our torso there. And as I mentioned, you can feel free to go for a big twist and have a nice stretch through your back or go for a more gentle twist and feel that rocking action from side to side. After two sets of the twist, so we're going to do one on the right and one on the left, then we're taking a big breath in, we're going to let the arms flow up to trace a circle all the way around through the high space, and then it'll come gently down to our sides. And remember, you can trace a circle also in the front space of your body. That's a little bit smaller. Or you can trace a circle way up overhead that's a little bit bigger. The choice is up to you. All right, let's try adding those two movements together. So we do twist to the right, twist to the left, draw a circle in the space. Now the other way, twist to the left, twist to the right, draw a circle in the space. And you twist and you twist and you float, and you twist, and you twist, and you float. Great. So hopefully we're starting to develop a gentle rhythm of the movement that goes from one side to the other and then circles around. Let's practice it together one more time. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Circle in the space and going to the left, to the right. And circle in the space and going to the right and the left. And circle in the space and going to the left, to the right. This is our last one circling. Good. Okay, take a second to give those arms a rest. Maybe roll out your shoulders a little bit gently. The next piece of the choreography, I'm going to take my thumb and middle finger together to do a pinching action. And this a pinch is going to happen right in front of my sternum, in front of my heart. And I'm going to imagine I'm pinching a thread and pulling it out away from my shirt and then releasing it out into space. So I release the pinch of my fingers. That release happens on count one. Let's try that on the other side. So pinch at the center of your sternum with your left hand. Draw that thread out and reach it out and release on count two. And imagine as you're doing this that you're taking a gift from your heart and sending it out into the world, maybe out to someone you're dancing with today. So we do pinch, release, pinch, release, pinch, release, pinch, release. Beautiful. So that's four sets of that pinch and release. You'll notice that I'm, when I'm using my right arm, I'm sending the energy to the left, and vice versa. When I'm using my left arm, I'm sending the energy to the right. But again, the choice is yours. If you feel comfortable sending yours forward in space, that's absolutely good. If you want to be creative and send them in other places, 
go for it. All right. I want to see your own movement agency within the dancing that we're doing today. Let's practice just that pinch and release one more time with some counts. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, and three, four, and five, six, and seven, eight. Great, everybody. How about we do those two parts together? The twisting with the breath four times and our pinch and release four times. All right, find your standing feet or your sitting bones planted. Ready, five, six, seven, eight, and turning, and turning, and breathing as you circle around, and twist, and twist, and breathing as you circle it around. Little twist, little twist. This is our third circle. You choose your height, little twist, little twist, and around, and pinch and release, going once and a twice, three times, four times. Good. That phrase is going to finish with a little surprise. On the fourth one, I want you to give it a clap. That's on count eight. Yeah, so that's seven, eight. We're going to draw that inward to face the front. So we go down for four counts, releasing your spine, and then we'll float up for four. Why don't we try the pinch and release and add in the clap on eight and the movement down and up. Okay, so starting with your right hand, ready, five, six, seven, eight, and a throw, and a throw. This is five, six, get ready, clap on eight to go in, four, four counts, breathe out, four, four counts. Beautiful, everybody. We are almost there. I think, though, we should practice this from the beginning once more before we add on the last piece of choreography for today. So let's try from the beginning from our twists. Ready, set, here we go. To the right, to the left. You circle, circle in the space. To the left, to the right. You circle, reaching in the space to the right, to the left. Go around and down. Last set. And six. And seven. Pinch and release. And a throw. Two and a three. Four and a five. Six. Clapping on eight. In four. Four counts. Breathe. Four. Four counts. Bravo, everyone. Remember, if you want to practice that again, feel free to rewind and try it one more time. But now we're going to add on a little bit more. My left arm is going to be my leading arm. And in fact, I'm going to also lead with my spine and shoulder. Beautiful. So we're going to go left arm across, right arm across, left arm across, right arm across. There's six of these. Five and six, and we finish the phrase by having a little curve in our spine with our arms in front of our body. Beautiful, everyone. And just like before, you choose if the movement is small, or if you want the movement to be even bigger, that choice is up to you. Very nice, well done, everyone. Okay, so let's practice just that new section, which is the six wave to the side. We went down for one, two, three, Four, we go up, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and curve to finish. Excellent dancers. You've learned all of the choreography that we're going to learn today, so now we have to rehearse. So we'll go back to the beginning and practice the movement once or twice without music and then we'll see what it's like to dance it with the music. All right, so ready with Charisse or ready with me? Let's practice it from the top. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, and three, four, circle, five, six, seven, left side, one, two, and three, four, and around, six, seven, and again, right and left. You circle, circle, round the bend, and the left, and right, 
you get ready to do the throws. Right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand. Give it a grab. Pull it in. Four, four. Counts. Reach it out. Four, four. Counts. And you slice. And two. And three. And four. And five. And six. Bring it in to finish the phrase. Well done, everybody. I think we are ready to give it a try with some music. All right, ready, set, going right, left. Other side, left, right. Right, left, circle. Left, right. Getting ready for those little throws. Reach away. Clapping on eight. In. And up. Left arm. Four, two more. Hiding in. Really well done. Let's practice that one more time. All right, sitting tall or standing tall. Ready, go right. Good, one last time. All right, pinch and throw. Clap, bring it in. Breathe it out. Choose your height. Left. We've been through this. There's no need to hide away. Bring it in high. We will go. Congratulations, everyone, on joining us in this very first of our Sharing Dance Choreography instructional videos. I hope you had as much fun as Cherise and I did working with you. And we'll look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye for now. <laughs>